Okay, man. This has got to be one of the strongest reasons. that I go in for the kids as hard as I do. This happened to be one of the most worst um, possible outcomes um, with these institutions. All of them need to be uh, torn down and redone. What you know it's going to be an impossibility because the people don't have the will uh, because they got problems coming at them on every side. This is the shocking moment that a Texas CPS worker tells 14-year-old girl to become a prostitute. To become a prostitute so she can afford food? Well, the agency fires the employee and apologizes after video surfaces. In an undated video, a Texas Child Protective Services worker tells a 14-year-old girl that she should become a prostitute. The worker was responding to the child asking for food. The girl's mother, Keisha Baisley, said, if I was to do something like this to my child, I would be called a horrible parent, and then I would lose my child. But this is what the professionals are doing to my child. Oh, my God. The teen's mother, Keisha Bailey, told Fox 26 that my daughter told me that the worker had been telling her she should do things. So... She said she decided to videotape her. Baisley told the station that she has nine children when she began having problems with her 14-year-old daughter, and she reached out to CPS for help. She said that the unnamed teen was causing trouble at school and running away from home. Sounds like a molestation issue. Um... Just right off the bat, that's what, you know, usually when girls start running away and stuff like that, uh, something has made her feel unsafe. She wants to get out of there. And I'm just telling you, the teenager is one of a large number of children in the foster care system in Harris County, Texas, who is being housed in a hotel. The children in hotels are waiting placement. According to Fox Houston, the video shows the 14-year-old asking the CPS work employee for food, and the worker responds by telling the child that she should become a prostitute. you got to be kidding. As a result of the astounding interaction, the CPS worker has been fired. Their identity has not been made public. I know, because they would... In response, Baisley made a formal complaint to CPS. She told Fox 26 that if me, the parent, was to do something like this to my child, I would be bashed. I would be called a horrible parent and I would lose my kids. This should not happen to girls in their care. This should not happen. It's totally unacceptable. Houston-based family lawyer Mike Schneider told the station that the teenager's request for food is met with almost a threat of not having her needs being met if she didn't do what this woman was very explicitly told her to do. When asked if a child would be removed from a parent if they made the same comments as a CPS worker, Snyder said they should and and they would. The commissioner of the Department of Family and Protective Services in Texas, Jamie Masters, made a pilgrimage to Harris County to personally apologize to Baisley and her daughter for the comments. Over the comments, I've never seen that happen before where the commissioner of the CPS comes from Austin just to apologize about something horrible that's been done to a child involved in CPS. I mean, the child is already traumatized. And this is why I try to go hard for the kids. Because 
you know, you got so many people that prey on them. Prey on children. And for whatever reason, even, I mean, it, you know, it, even if it's the CPS worker, it's bad enough if it's just one uh, bad role worker. It concerns me that may be bigger than that. And they need to make sure it's not just one person and they've got to find a way to protect these kids. Texas Tribune reported that in March 2022 that a private child care facility that was operating with a state contract was shut down after staff members were found to be trafficking children who were being cared for. A CPS spokesperson, Melissa Langford, said in response to the shocking video, DFPS is aware of the video and has taken action. The person in the video who is employed as a CPS support staff was dismissed from her position August 10th. The safety and inappropriateness with which children in care must be treated is our paramount concern. Nothing less will be tolerated. Really? I hope you really feel that way. I mean, because to double, double, triple traumatize these children this way breaks my heart. Breaks my heart. And you want to know why the world is gone berserk? You start with how these children are being raised. Start with how these, the way these children are being treated. And you got your answer right there. Right there is your answer. If you agree or if you disagree, let me hear it. I'll see you in the next video. And if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. If you want to donate to the channel, you can join the channel. Uh, the links are below.